Americans on TikTok, brace yourself. The platform could be banned in the U.S. if the company's Chinese owners don't agree to President Biden's demands. NBC's Monica Alba is covering the White House for us. Monica, this would be a big deal to a lot of people. I might even know some teenagers who have a little TikTok addiction. Why would the White House threaten such a drastic step? And it's one that had been discussed for a couple of months now, Chris, as lawmakers and the Biden administration tried to figure out how to deal with this specifically because they say of the national security risks that this presents, given the fact that TikTok is owned by Chinese owned company ByteDance. They say that there's a risk here to anyone who signs up for the platform in terms of their data being stolen, in terms of the potential for their phone to be hacked. And ultimately, this is a bigger question just about how we as a society want to share that information and where that information could go and how it could be used. So ultimately, we learned, according to a source close to TikTok, that this is something the Biden administration has essentially put forth as a possibility, but that no final order has been made. So the company itself is saying that they actually believe that selling or divesting wouldn't change the national security concerns. And they say what needs to be stepped up is this third party monitoring and vetting, which they say already happens to some degree, but could certainly be boosted. And the backdrop to all of this is that really lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have introduced bipartisan legislation that would help the White House go after some tech platforms like TikTok more aggressively. So that if that's ultimately what the White House and the president decide to do, if that legislation goes forward, it could be an easier path. But we're still talking about a high stakes hypothetical, Chris, that could take weeks or months until we really know what happens. But the implications are, like you said, massive. And then there's the major question of enforcement if this does happen. And if there is a nationwide ban, how would that all work? There's still a lot of details to be ironed out here. Monica Elba, thank you for that. Meantime, workers at the